1955 Dodge truck. Hopefully soon to be put back on the road. A few issues with uh, the old factory bed. Looks like it's going to need some TLC. Frame looks real good. And we'll go around here to the side. As I said, 1955. And I hear it's pretty hard uh, finding the original beds like this one here. I've only seen a few of them with that type of fender and the bed style. Short bed, I believe, is what they call it. Cab overall is pretty good shape. Uh, small hole in the door. And driver's side fender, small hole. Other side's the same. Looking inside here. Doors are real nice shape. A little surface rust here and there, but nothing major. Floor battery tray, kick panels inside, all look good. <coughs> Door posts are solid. Uh, great upholstery work there. That's real nice. That's going to have to be replaced. Dash seems to be pretty nice shape. A little sanding, priming, painting. Good as new. <laughs> Cab corners. Perfect condition. Access panel for the gas tank. Don't know how well it's showing up there. Donor seat of my brother's 65 Ford, I believe. Floor solid. Heater still works. Does have a, pretty much a new wiring system put in it, custom made. Everything works. The truck starts, runs great. aftermarket wheels which are pretty bad shape back ones are 14 inch uh, rally wheels probably off of some old Mopar car decent shape probably worth a few bucks for somebody redoing a dart or something or whatever they may be off of little picture of the front end here some surface rust, but all solid. Headlight rings, one's pretty bad shape. The other one's a little worse. <laughs> Switched it over to 12 volt system. That's the ballast resistor for the coil here, so I don't burn the uh, Ignition system out. It's got a new Carter carburetor and fuel pump on it. Engine runs really well. Great oil pressure. The old time horn. And there's the Made in Detroit logo there with all the information. Whole whopping 110 horsepower. Gotta watch it get away from you pretty quick. Oil bath air cleaner. Still has the old radiator system here. The 
old style radiator hoses which I believe are original because I've had it for 20 years and never put any hoses on it. Just a Delco alternator and changed the, the lights to 12 volt as well. Looking for information on V8 engine mounts. If I could have find something, uh, even pictures, so I could fabricate mounts for it, or even buy aftermarkets. Little dent in the fender here. I don't know how well it's showing up here. It's pretty bright out. You see a little crease in the fender, that's uh, not any real bad body damage on it. We're going to work on the bed today. Get the old boards cut out. That's what the grinder's there for, setting in the back, and hopefully get these cross members out and get the bed lifted off and start cleaning and painting the frame. And prepping the cab, and the bed will come later. And also, original running boards that are in pretty bad shape. Hoping to replace them with uh, maybe wooden wooden running boards. Thinking about doing something different here on the side with the exhaust. If I put the V8 in it, small 318. Don't need to go fast, just need to go, that's all. I'm not power hungry. And something like this little thing with a 440, it'd be a suicide machine. You'd have to very, really respect it. And be very careful. But I'm thinking about since the running boards, I think they're even mismatch, and they're pretty much junk. Someone's welded on them. Stick welded on them years ago. I forgot to mention. stick weld and they're solid but I uh, want to have a little fun see if I can get refocused here taking this good old time no idea how to work this thing but there it is it's coming back I think. But I was thinking about uh, since the running boards were shot on it, I was thinking about uh, maybe running dual stacks on it instead of side pipes or straight pipes. I was thinking of uh, some type of stacks on each side on the outside of the bed and that's about it for the first video the 55 Dodge I hope everybody uh, subscribes and comments any tips and help uh, locating parts would be greatly appreciated and that'll be it for this video. Thank you.